Hey guys, welcome back. This is our term two update for both form one and form two and three. And also at the end of this video, I will show you guys what we're going to be doing looking ahead into term three. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I'm Laura Wilkie with Down Home with Lemon Pie. And like I said, this is term two video. I am not splitting it up this time by form one and form two and three. I'm just going to do it all in one. And at the end, I will share with you guys um, what we're looking forward to for term three. And um, if you're a Charlotte Mason homeschooler like we are, welcome. We are do split up our year into three terms, so 12 weeks a piece. And um, yeah, we have some breaks in there all thrown in and it's a great year. But um, this is Homeschool Fellowship Friday. So join me if you haven't already. Do subscribe, share the videos, and I'm going to tell you guys how form or term two went. So term two, um, yeah, let's start with form one, with which is my third grade and down kiddos. I have seven little ones and I have this year twins that are in kindergarten. I do have a two-year-old that's joining us just kind of running around. I have twins in kindergarten and then I have a second grader and those are my form one kiddos. That's my group. And I'd been doing a literature study with these kiddos. I shared with you guys some books that we were doing. We were doing some five in a row and then some story starters. And um, yeah, after Christmas or right during Christmas, we went to Texas and we were gone for a long time. Truth be told, we got back and I could not find, I don't know what happened, maybe with packing or whatever. I don't know, but I could not find some of my resources that I had planned to use for term two. So um, we did have some changes a little bit. Um, we still did literature studies. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, about 11 of them. Yeah. Out of the 12 weeks. So that's pretty good. And about one a week and, um, is usually what I was trying for. And, um, yeah, we had a lot. This term incorporated Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, and Easter, all in the same term, which we had some holiday things. Um, but yeah, I lost my story starters and my um, five in a row books that I was using before and kind of using them as a guide. And I really liked story starters better. So um, I did find five in a row later and then I found story starters later, but um, we had already started with some other things. So what we did was... I just found books off the bookshelf um, and either Googled activities or ideas to go with them. And we just ran with it. And so the books that we did, I'll just tell you guys, I'm not going to put them up on a, on a photo here. Just listen. I did The Mitten. I did People by Peter Spire. I do What Do People Do All Day, Richard Scarry. Chickens Aren't the Only Ones. That was a science one about other animals that lay eggs. Um... The Gingerbread Man, we did some fairy tales here. Gingerbread Man, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Ugly Duckling. We did um, a set of the Little House stories that are like the beginner books and the true story of Peter Rabbit during Easter time. So, um, oh, and then we did some that were just about God's love that we just kind of did a compilation of. Um, those worked out super well. And I think that doing it that way just worked out. I mean, it, it did. It was very natural and easy. I'll probably still use story starters like when I'm in a bind and I just need, um, you know, so many things. I just need something already done. That works too. Um, we did set down our geography book for these kiddos. Um, I didn't get to it as frequently as I would have liked. I like to do it every Wednesday and I think we only got one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. I think like six of the countries or the areas of the world covered and that was kind of disappointing, but such is life. We had kind of a busy term because my oldest daughter was doing a play in town. She had rehearsals four days a week and many times, um, it's like 45 minutes away, many times I would take her and then that was the end of the day because I'd have to stay through the rehearsal with all the kids or I'd take her and drop her off and it's just a lot of time. So, um, you know, but I don't think that 
um, school needs to be our life. Like we still need to have these things. So I'm not like complaining that we didn't get all the things done that I planned. In fact, I would rather over plan and have things we don't get to than be sitting around trying to rush and find something to, to fit in or whatever. Um, so that was totally fine. But I did want to cover that. Okay. So then form two, that was basically all we did. We did all their basic stuff too, like beginning reading things and phonics and little games and things, but I don't want to cover all of that with you guys in this video. I do share pictures every week um, on my Facebook page. So if you want to follow me there, you can find those. But now form two was a very heavy subject with history. And we were kind of buckling down with some of these, trying to squeeze them in because I have something big planned for, for, for term three. And I didn't want to be so bogged down in term three with history. So we kind of added in some lessons through here, but man, <laughs> this was a heavy term for history this year. Um, we are doing mystery of history. We're in the fourth book, which is the last book. And we're actually starting it this year. So we're actually starting in the last book, but that's where we were, um, in our timeline, uh, in history. So that's where we picked up. But for term two, we picked up right off the bat with the Civil War. And we covered the Civil War. We covered Helen Keller, Albert Einstein, the Wright Brothers, World War I, World War II, the Cold War, the Holocaust, Hitler, Stalin, Lenin, Mussolini, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Billy Graham, just to name a few. There was a whole bunch of other things thrown in, but these are maybe the most well-known. And I mean, it was heavy. It was heavy. That was a lot of big topics and information. And like I said, I covered a lot of that. Um, I just went through and gave you guys summaries on my Facebook page if you want to go check those out. And then um, we did a lot also in geography. Geography was so heavy this this term as well, we get our geography. I've been showing you guys our videos and I have not gotten a, um, a lesson video where I actually do like a day in the life, but of our one lesson for geography, I have not gotten that done yet. So I'm still working on it, but, um, yeah, we use voice of the martyrs. I will link those videos below. If you missed it and you want to know what we use and how we do it, those are all linked below. And we had some heavy areas that we were talking about. So we talked about Sierra Leone, um, there was a lot of like in Sierra Leone, you've got witchcraft and all kinds of things that we were covering. Um, it was intense. We had Sri Lanka, we had Pakistan, we had Southeast Asia, North Korea alone. I mean, even if you just do that one alone, I think I did that one for two weeks or maybe three weeks. Um, we did Kashmir Valley in India. We did some things with, um, Burka Faso in Africa, Burkina Faso, and it was heavy. It was just heavy and heavy in Voice of the Martyrs. And but the girl, the kids did great. The kids did great, and they ran with it. I was super excited. We have been <laughs> we have been reading Little Pilgrim's Progress. Um, gosh, it feels like all year. It feels like maybe, yeah, maybe it has been all year. It, we have been reading it for so long and we were, we, the kids already knew the story. So, cause they had seen the movie that was done and super well done, but, um, we had never actually read through it. And so they knew all of the, um, things. It's an allegory. If you haven't, if you're not familiar with it. And this was like the little side, like the, the kids version, I guess. And, oh, it took us forever to get through this book. Now, granted, I was not doing it every day, especially at the beginning, but near the end, we were just like, when are we ever going to be done? We're never going to be done. So we did speed it up a little bit. So we did finish Little Pilgrim's Progress. It was very good. Um, and we were excited for that. We also started and finished Cold Case Christianity, which I was excited to fit that one in because I had all these other things I wanted to do after Little Pilgrim's Progress. And we just were not getting to them and it was driving me crazy actually. And so, um, I'm glad that we already got cold case Christianity done as well. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you also in history, we talked about Monet, Degas, Renoir, and Cassatt, which, um, they covered all, all of them in one lesson <laughs> in our history book, which I thought was a little much, but, um, we actually, I think divided it into two days and, um, Cassatt, I absolutely love her art. It was, 
um, like if you're a homemaker, if you're a mama and you stay home, you're taking care of babies, whatever, that will speak to your heart. And it was beautiful. So we did do, um, we looked at some of that. Now, Surat was our actual study for art this term. We did read about Surat and I'll talk about that later in another video and how we do art studies. But Surat was a artist and an interesting fellow and that was good. We did our folk songs, which turned out well. We did the folk song, even um, the one that was the highlight was the Shorten and Bread. And we sang that several times and we explained the meaning, the history of it. And then we made Shorten and Bread, which was a big hit. So that was super fun. Um, what else did we do? Let me see. Um, oh, in Surat, the kids did lots of paintings, lots of paintings. And when we study artists, we always do lots and lots of painting. And um, my oldest, who was like my huge avid reader, she loves to read so much. And um, she, uh, no surprise, knocked out a bunch of stories, um, a series even. She read through the Maze Runner series. She read um, Agatha Christie's And Then There Were None. She read the Lost Book series by Ted Decker. She read the Mortality Doctrine series by Dashner. She read by Beverly Lewis which she absolutely loved this author, Summer Hill Secrets. She thought it was very sweet. She read Resistance by Jennifer Nielsen. We've talked a lot about her books and we love them. I actually read that one as well and it's so good. So if you need a book, um, yeah, this is very good. Very, very good Resistance. And um, she also just recently finished I Must Betray You, um, yeah, which she also said was very good. My second daughter who, so that's my seventh grader actually. And my second daughter is my fifth grader, my form two kiddos. I have a fourth grader, fifth grader, and seventh grader. And my fifth grader is reading the Among the Hidden series. And she read, she's a little bit of a slower reader. And so she read the first four books, I believe, in that series and is enjoying it. So that is exciting. This is actually the same series that my oldest took off with when she first started reading the Among the Hidden series by Haddocks was the series that like took her from reading as a chore to reading for fun. And that's exciting. So that is what's happening again. And I'm so excited. So that is very good. Um, yeah, we just did. We did so much. Yeah. So spring is coming. Um, yeah, we just, <sighs> it's hard. This time of year is always hard and it gets harder every week. The snow has melted now and it's just nice outside. There's so many nice days. So we are getting ready to take some of our lessons outside. Now, term three has started this week. Um, I started term three and what are we going to do? So I looked in our history book. That's kind of where I gauge um, like our school year is usually based on our history book. And I love Mystery of History. Like I said, this is the first time we're using it. And um, there are 28 lessons. So 20 or excuse me, 28 weeks. And then each week has three lessons. So you can do the math, but each week is so there's 28. And um, I like that. I like that it doesn't carry it all the way to 34 or 36 or even 32 because it gives us that time if we don't get to it or to have, you know, one lesson carry over for two days or something like that. So I am actually loving that. Now, the way we're going to do it for this next term, for term three, we are going to buckle down and we are going to knock out the last six weeks in um, that history book. We will be starting at week 23 and that's what we've been doing this week. And then we will be going through 28 and that should take us through the first six weeks of term three. The reason I'm doing that is because term 
um, three, I have planned for us to do a Titanic unit study and I am so excited about it. It is by Campfire Curriculums and I've heard nothing but great things about them. So I'm excited to do it. I did purchase the um, more expensive version that comes with the audio downloads because I thought it would just be way better that way. I, they had like a sample on their website and I thought it was wonderful. I am not reimbursed by them at, or supporting them as far as, um, you know, getting paid if you sign up too, but it looks like it's going to be really good. I haven't looked too much into it. I've just been printing off some things and it's very thorough. It looks like, and I, what I love about it is that it is something that has activities and ideas and things for all ages. So it is something we can do as a family, which is what we normally do in our homeschool. So I am excited about that. We will continue to do our three hour homeschool schedule. If you missed that video or want to know what our schedule looks like with seven little ones, I will link that one below too, but we are going to continue doing our three hour and in that last, um, probably two hours or maybe even the second hour. I don't know um, if it'll be hours two and three or just hour two. We might take hour three off for some nature stuff, but I don't know because it's spring. So anyway, for term three, but anyway, we are going to definitely be doing hour two is like going to be our nature, our Titanic study, excuse me, our Titanic study. And I'm so excited about this guys. It is so well done. And so I'm really excited to implement that. Like I said, that will be the second six weeks from week seven to 12 in term three, and it may not even go to week 12. We may cut early at week 10. I don't know, just depending how quickly we're going, because that'll determine the, um, how, how long we have for the school year. So that's exciting. So we may just move it along faster or we may slow it down. I don't know. We'll just see how many rabbit holes we get dug down, but we'll see. But it looks like it's going to be really good, guys. This is like one of our best years. It's been a good year so far, um, which I was glad for because it's been a while since we needed just a really good year. And so this is really good. I think the mystery hip history has really taken us to the next level. So I'm excited for that as well. So that basically wraps up our update for term two. I would love to know what exciting things you guys are doing in term two or in your homeschool or what you're doing for term three. If you have something fun coming up, um, yeah, let me know, leave a comment. I will respond and I look forward to that. So I will catch you guys next time. I look forward to that. If you are not um, following me on Mondays, I am doing Mother Culture Monday and we are going through this book right here, The Hidden Art of Homemaking, chapter by chapter. I'm going through this, guys, with you just like I did with some other books last year. They are listed in a playlist below and you can go and I'll just add each video as they come out and then... They'll all be there together for you guys to find them. So thanks for watching and I will find you guys next time.